So what a commercial pattern would normally ask you to do is snip these notches in the middle of the pocket, which line up with the pocket piece notches itself. And you would do that on the front and the back, right? What I'm gonna ask you to do is completely ignore that middle notch and also ignore your back piece for now. What we're gonna do instead is just snip in at these dots. These dots mark the opening of the pocket and we just need that on the front. We don't need it on the back, but we do need it on the pocket pieces. So if I just put my pocket underneath and snip the exact same notches there. So the skirt front has the opening of the pocket marked and so does the pocket piece. Good? All right, the back we're not gonna touch until later. The first thing I'm gonna do at the machine is have my skirt front or pant front right side up and then one of the pocket pieces right side down onto it lining up those notches and then i'm going to sew at the 15 line or the 5 8 line starting with a back tack right opposite that notch starting there coming down right to beside this notch and ending you have to be a little bit precise to be right at the 15 line or 5 8 line and with your back tacks not extending out past these notches so you have to have a little bit of accuracy I normally don't pin this, but I want you to be able to see better. So I'm gonna mark where those notches are with a pin. Okay. And starting right up at the top, I'm gonna to use red thread just so that it's nice and visible for you. And I'm lining myself up with the 15 line or 5 8 line and pulling out that first pin. Small little back tacks there, and then just straight down. Coming down here, stopping right at that pin, just slide it out, and a back tack. Now I'm going to take my scissors and extend that notch right to that last stitch. So being able to open it up right like that. So you just cut right to your last stitch. I'm gonna bring this pocket out over the seam allowance. See that? The seam allowance is going to stay out this way. I'm going to bring the pocket piece out over the seam allowance. And I can just flip that little cutout right over so I can see exactly where I need to start and stop. I'm going to be under stitching through three layers here. This fabric and the two layers of seam allowance. And I'm going to come right down about, I don't know, a millimeter, a sixteenth of an inch away from that edge. Check to see as well that that corner is nice and smooth. If you have like a little bubble there, or a little pocket, it means you just need to snip a little tiny bit more until your last stitch there. Now as I go, I open this right out. Don't let this kind of be folded over. Open that right out. And again, have that, that little cutout out so that you can see where to stop. You don't want to sew past that. The understitching is holding the pocket facing to the inside so it's never going to roll out and we're never going to see that peeking out. Bring both my cut corners out and now I want to top stitch this edge. The top stitch is optional. If you have a dressier garment, you don't have to top stitch. You can just press that flat. I'm going to want my top stitching to come right there. I don't want to see a back tack there, right? So I'm going to hide my back tack way over here and come out and down. So when I'm clear, there. Now I'm going to pivot and come straight down that edge. On the bottom here, I've got those two corners poking out. And just kind of open this out, make sure that is laying nice and flat, and go. When I get to that bottom corner, angle back out so that I can hide my back tack in the side seam at the bottom. So there's my top stitch looking good. So now my other pocket piece comes right side together with this one. Oh, and one thing I should mention, this one that's the pocket facing, that one can be in lining. It's never gonna show, especially because we understitched it to stay in. This one could be in lining or a different fabric. 
But this one that goes against it, that is now gonna be the pocket bag. And it has to be of the same fabric because it will end up showing a tiny bit, especially as you're using it. So don't put this one in lining. Okay, so now I'm just matching up the corner pieces of that pocket. And then I'm just gonna sew around at the 15 line or the 5 8 line all the way around here, making sure my edges are together. Keep the edges together as you come around the curve. The pocket bag is sewn, and now I'm definitely gonna serge that edge. I love a nice clean finish on the inside, so serging that. And of course, if you don't have a serger, you can just zigzag. The zigzag never lays quite as flat though, that's okay. So the pocket's nicely finished. Now, let's talk about the side seam. I want you just to see that we've just made basically a cutout at that side seam on the front. And this pocket bag is now completing our edge there. And so when I put the back of the skirt on here, I'm gonna be sewing still at the 15 line or the 5 8 line. I'm gonna be coming down with this on top, but just so you can see, Coming down, coming just right at that corner, coming down right at that corner. I don't want to have a gap here where you see that little bit, and I definitely don't want to sew on top of the pocket. So I'll show you how to do that. I don't like to use a lot of pins. There are definitely times when you have to pin, but mainly we just like to keep edges together. Okay, here we go. You might not be able to see it, but I can feel it. I can feel where that edge is. So I'm going to be aiming right for this little corner here. Good. And then I just run my nail along that edge. Maybe you can see a tiny bit, but I can definitely feel it. So there's my line. And then I can feel where that corner is. So I need to sew right there. and complete the rest of the side seam. Now, before we go and serge, just double check. Check here. If you have a little bit of a gap like that, you can go back in and sew a tiny bit closer. There we go. I think that nails it. Good. So check both ends. Make sure you haven't sewn your pocket closed. And now because that's all together, I can now serge that edge, no problem. And now at the iron, I can press the side seam all going toward the back, press the pocket flat. Now I can top stitch this side seam, which you cannot do with the instructions on a regular commercial pattern. This sportier version has two points of weakness here at the top and bottom of the pocket. And if it is something that's gonna get some hard use, you wanna reinforce those. So I just did a little bar tag right there. And to do that bar tag at top and bottom, I use a tight zigzag stitch that's 2.5 millimeters wide and 0.6 millimeters long. I went back and forth like a little back tack just three times, one, two, three. And it gives you that nice little bar tack to secure the top and bottom ends. Here's our finished version of the top stitch side seam pocket. So we've got top stitching or edge stitching on the pocket edge itself, which gives it a nice crisp edge and then top stitching on the seam allowance. It's so nice and clean on the inside. Everything is neatly serged and top stitched and held flat. These bar tacks really keep it nice and strong in there. And I just think it looks great.